All right, hello at the uh, gorge in Kenville. I'm gonna take a little lap around the proposed course for the 2022 Kenville Canada Cup. And we are on the starting straight. Start will be uh, probably just behind me. So we'll be starting out on this uh, road, which we close, of course, during racing and official practice times. So I'll get a good little spin before we head into the woods. Now I just should say proposed course, obviously things can change the last minute at commissary's discretion. So if you see something on today's video that has not happened in the real course, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Hey guys. All right, heading into the woods. We'll start with a run up the double track here on the left. Now, two things for everyone to keep in mind with this. I'm, uh, I'm no cross country racer. So, don't look at my lap time and say, oh geez, yeah, okay. Of course, it's kind of slow. No, it's just me. I'm not very fast. Also, I should note, the marking we have up now is for a provincial race that's going on this weekend. A couple things will be different on the Canada Cup. And that'll include a little different layout in a couple spots. A lot more tape, more signs, that sort of thing. But this is a good head start. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Round up the first climb. And I'll take it right. It's the woods. We'll have our first little downhill section. Classic trail with some roots, rocks, jumpable areas. Nothing outrageous, but good start here. Wow. <laughs> wow. Maybe here. A little drop. Uh, and back up the hill. Uh, our feed zone will be off on my right. It's just getting built now. Freshly cleared area. Getting some wood chips put down. Very nice soft spot to sit while you're waiting past with your water bottles. Now for those doing the shorter course, just in the youth categories and the adult sports, they're going straight like those two riders in front of us. Expert elite categories, we'll hang left, into the woods here. Plenty of roots, a couple line choices through here. But no, uh, nothing uh, really difficult. Now, it may take a lap or two to find the line you want so you can maintain speed with the least amount of effort. Next part of this climb gets a little smoother. This trail's probably 15 years newer than that one we just did. And it shows. Ooh, it hurts.
Now I'd say overall, the first half of the course is a little tamer than the back half. And here you'll be able to go over that bridge if you want, or around. I'll give you the choice. Why not? Let's take it right here. This is a new section of this year. Thank you to some volunteers from the Mountain no Bike Association for helping with this. A couple optional skinnies. You can go around these on race day if you want. That's all right. Back on one of the double track park roads. Place where you can take a little breather or sprint your little hearts out. It's up to you. And look at that. Whee! So those are taking the sport course. This is where we would merge back on to the lap you folks are doing. Everyone's curious, there's the history. The gorge, which is the trail system we're riding at today, has been a public park since, I believe, whew, how my memory's doing, 1936, thereabouts. So, lots of history here. People riding bikes in this park. It's probably, it's early 90s, maybe even before that, I'm not sure. Before my time, but it's, uh, a great honor to get to host events here. This is a park I grew up riding when I was a kid. And to be here today, prepping for a national event and a national championship next year, woo, it is pretty damn exciting. Anyway, to on here now, those that have raced here before will probably recognize, this is Flying Squirrel Trail. A little wider than some of the older just single track. So you're gonna have a little bit more room for passing on this guy. Have a couple options. The lines. For the most part, you can spin out this one. Not have to work too hard. Get a chance for recovery if you want. If you're feeling good. Attack. Yeah. Woo! Pepperoni. here I uh, typically will go that way up to the middle you got traffic there on the outside or shoot up those rocks in your thing you got options around them choice is good right yeah. take a left here our pass can coffee to the right for course distance management we are going to skip that back loop this year save a little bit of distance There you go. We're now up on the upper double track. Get another spot where you can catch a break or pedal hard. We're also going to set up a spot for a secondary feed zone up here. Probably about halfway across this traverse. So if you feel you need a secondary spot to stash a water bottle, there will be an option for that. And that's probably going to be on rider's left. So when you get here, have a look out for a little feed zone taped off. Probably somewhere, hmm, not quite yet. Just a little farther up. We're probably getting close. Yeah, somewhere, probably right around here. Maybe a little behind me. I don't have it too close to this corner. There's not a change from previous years. Last race, we're going a little farther forward. This year, we're going to cut back the woods a little earlier. Let's get back on the single track a little sooner. Small up there. Woo! Those one, yeah. Double for those who want to double. We're hanging around the right. 
short uphill, make a pass if you need it. We'll have to into another new trail. This one's called Ethereum. It's pretty fun. I think you guys are gonna really like it. Good break from the roots, the technical riding, something a little flowier, a little pumpy. Oh, yeah. A good time will be had here. Woo, off the bridge, I'm off the bridge. Much fun. Yeah. Gear bikes. This is a new trail this year. So we're pretty happy to have this at the course. It's soft. Free. All right. Back in double track section. Spot to grab a drink of water. I gotta do it myself. Ah, wetness. Delicious water. Cool. All right. About to turn into the back half of the course. One more. A little uphill. Hairpin. And downhill time. Start off with a little rock dirt. <laughs> roots. More roots. Yeehaw. Bikers. Woo! Guess what's cheer? Cheer. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Happy bikes. Yeah, so squares. We're going to protect the little assets of the course now. We'll drop here. Steps. line off here they'll drop watch your braking don't lock that tire up you can slide oh yeah Run a little downhill yeah over the roots across the bridge back on the pedals that's pretty fun that's new this year under our iconic overpass. <sighs> okay. <sighs> yep, just give me a little breather here. I'm not fit enough to go fast the whole time. section will lead us into the most demanding portion of the course. It's got a nice big steep climb. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm still gonna take the skinny. The skinnies are cool. Ah, oh, racing. So I don't need a fast way. I need a fun way. Okay. Here's where the work starts. So hopefully you saved a little bit of energy. You got your heart rate down and touch on that back loop as we're going up sports you get to go right and save your legs not have to do this climb Ooh, you can go straight up that guy if you're feeling it or if you're not you can take these tight kind of really switch backs like i'm doing right now yeah. And keep climbing. So for those that haven't been here before, this zone we're in is definitely where the crowds are going to be hanging. So you'll be uh, getting cheered or heckled, politely heckled, going up. And then they're going to get you right on the downhill right after. It's pretty exciting as a spectator. Tons to see. Woo. Talking through these course previews is hard. Woo. I'm gonna use an excuse to go slower. <laughs> All right. Last chance to catch a breather. Sorry, phone. I'm busy. 
gonna fairly hurt here. We're going down. Woo! Yeah. Whoop! Come on, fellas. Come strokes. Come pump. Jump the bridge. Cheers to the crowd. Back at it. Woo! No left here for this weekend's race. Not for the Canada Cup. Canada Cup, we're going to do this back loop. Get a little more fun time on bikes. So this isn't taped yet because I saw it in our provincial race this weekend. But rest short, lots of ribbons coming soon. And minus that stick. We don't want that stick. That stick's no fun. Boom. Wow! <laughs> we don't want those sticks either. They're definitely not fun. <laughs> yep. Had a windstorm a couple nights ago. Those were not there two days ago. Yep. That, folks, is why at big races, and all races for that matter, there's always a course inspection before you start in the morning. So stuff like that doesn't happen. Because it's not fun. That was an unnecessary crash. Okay, back in the groove, back in the groove. All right. Now that's taken care of. I'll see you a bit. Got another little shoot. This guy's not as bad as the previous one. But it's pretty sandy terrain. So you are going to want to take a little bit of caution. Not go too bonkers on that. Okay. We'll take a right here. A shortcut to the ridge. I'm not gonna take this too fast. We're in between bridges at the bottom, and you'll see why. All right, I'll drop. Yeah, got the roots. Okay, I'll drop. Real race course. We'll have it. We'll go right. Yeah, we'll be going over that bridge there. Just waiting for its decking to arrive. Sawmill's cutting it up today for us. So we'll be able to go straight through there, carry lots of speed. And last climb of your lap will be right here. Fairly steep. Make sure you're in a decent gear. I'm not. <laughs> so I'm not going to make it today. <laughs> so what I get for stopping at the bottom. That's okay. Let's get back on and keep riding. And this year, here's the road. We'll take a loft. And sprint back up the finish line which will probably be just past the fire hydrant probably pretty close to that big tree so that's approximately a lap for the 2022 Kenful Canada Cup barring any changes that's what you'll see or oh, very close to it thank you for riding oh, yeah thank you for riding with me today I'm Ryan from Trailflow and the Comfort Head of Cup. We'll see you soon.